It's the Sports Zone Unfiltered, brought to you by HEB. Hey guys, Sports Zone Unfiltered, back at you. I'm Paul Gallant. He's John Lopez, and with us a very special guest, former NFL fullback Moran Norris is in the house. What's going on, bud? Hey, what's going on? How y'all doing? Looking good, man. Uh, big event that uh, I'm a big fan of that we're going to get to in a minute, but let's talk some football first. Let's do it. Uh, offensive football, that's why we like uh, having you in here as a former offensive guy yourself. Texans made a lot of moves there. Even at running back where you played, mm -hmm. your thoughts initially on Lamar Miller and then, of course, uh, Tyler Irvin, the draft pick. They seem to be quicker guys than they're used to. Yeah, um, I'm a big fan of Lamar Miller. Mm -hmm. When he was at the U, I was a big fan of him. Uh, when he was at the University of Miami and at Miami. Right. Uh, so I'm a big fan of him. So I'm just um, excited to see what he's going to do. You the know, offensive I mean, line in front is something I'm, I'm very curious to see how it, they'll a, work. Yeah, it's a question mark right there because, you know, Dwayne Brown, I think he'll do a fabulous job. Uh, you know, Ben, he's left. Uh, who else? Then that? the inside is the all inside. new. Yeah, they Jeff got, Allen, got to do it for Notre Dame that came in. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see. So it's going to be all based upon that, the line. Coming back from a torn quadriceps tendon with Dwayne Brown, I, I don't know if that's something that you've ever had to deal with. But what is the rehab process like when you suffer an injury like that? I mean, you know, re, you know, physical therapy sucks, <laughs> first of all. Yeah. But if anybody can get it, I think Dwayne, Dwayne Brown can get it because he's you know, he works real hard and mm -hmm. he put in the extra work. You know, obviously he went to several Pro Bowls. So From he, he, Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, he'll be all right. Go From ahead. the player's perspective, you get Brock Osweiler coming into your locker room. Only seven career starts, but he's mm -hmm. been in the league for a while. It seems as if players, depending on the individual, might take this either way. Is, is there a little uncertainty there, or what are your feelings? Yeah, I'm not quite sold on Brock yet. Mm -hmm. When they needed him to win it last year, when they tried to bitch Peyton Manning, right. you know, they called Peyton Manning to come win the game. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. so we'll see. They added a lot to the offense this offseason. We talked about in the draft, Nick Martin on the offensive line, at wide mm. receiver, Will Fuller, Braxton Miller, Tyler Irvin as another back, and of course, Brock Osweiler and Lamar Miller. When there are that many new pieces coming into an offense, is it difficult to gain chemistry, especially now with the NFL offseason so limited in terms of practice time? I think so. It's kind of like when uh, Philadelphia, they had all the defensive backs, they had um, all the big studs. Readers, yeah. they had all this, and they didn't do anything. Right, <laughs> yeah, they get the chemistry. Yeah, so you know, it's gonna be a, it's, um, you know, it's gonna be exciting to see. One more thing on the offensive side of the ball, Will Fuller is is the burner outside. But you played with a guy that he was be, he's been compared to in Ted Ginn. Yeah, uh, and it seems like maybe you're a little higher on uh, Braxton Miller. Yeah, I'm a little higher on Braxton just because uh, you know Fuller, speedster. Yeah. But he, you know, like they, they compare him to Ted again, so he'll drop a few. Mm -hmm. And the ones he dropped, them the ones that you need. Right. Uh, I'm going with the kid from the third round, Braxton. Yeah. That's, that's my go to guy. What's your favorite thing about his gameplay? For sure, hands. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, I mean, you know, third and one. He can do stuff with, after the catch. That's too. what my biggest yeah. thing is. Like the spin move that he had yeah, against he's, Virginia Tech. Well, he got, he got good hands, you yeah. know, very, you know. I think, what, back-to-back -back Big Ten player of the year? Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, that says a whole lot. And only been playing the position for a little while. Right, right, right. So I'm going with him. All right, let's talk about your event because I don't want to shortchange it at all. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of it. It's June 26th. Give us some details and, and where the money's going. Well, yeah, we have uh, well, two weeks ago for Mother's Day weekend, we had uh, Shopping for Good Character. It was our 11th annual where we take 150 kids shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, we spend $100 on them, and we bust them, we feed them. And this is just different programs we have. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was that, and then on the 25th, we have our 10th annual football camp. Um, and then after that, we have our football gala, which we'll have her and Matt was there. As the guest uh, nice. Yeah, it's a fundraiser we have. So it'll be at Hotel Zaza on June the 26th. Uh, it's our 10th annual, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a good thing. We'll have, you know, Super Bowl champ Vernon Davis will be here. Wow. Frank Gore, you know, I'll get some few Texan guys to come as well. Good deal. So it's a good, it's a good fundraiser. It sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. Now, yeah. you played a lot of places over your uh, over your career. Did you ever play for Herm Edwards? No, never. Uh, I'm never. very curious how playing yeah. for him would be like, because he is quite emphatic. I'm ready to meet him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that be a lot of fun. They, they say he got good stories. I mean, yeah, I'll bet he I does. YouTube and hear stories of him, but uh, it should be fun. All right, well, let's talk about uh, some of the other things. Like I said, where the money is going here, because people okay. want to know about, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. If they, we invite you to go. I'm going to try to go. It's, it's definitely going to be uh, so, for a good reason. So the money is going, like I just told you, uh, we had a shopping for good character. So mm -hmm. we take, what, $18,000, and that's some of the money going there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have scholarship, the Moran Norris Scholarship. So we have six kids we get scholarship to. They'll be at the gala. Mm -hmm. uh, we have six kids we give an iPads to. They'll be there. Uh, what else do we do? A, a mural project. A mural project? A mural, yeah. Nice. We do it in elementary where we fly artists from New York. And we do four different schools. 
and we let the kids paint with the artists. Good deal. We did a dry a school dry giveaway, six hundred book bags and school supply at mm, Madison nice. High School. Uh, what else? And then and the, the, these are kids from the inner city, so it's inner city kids, yeah. That, that so we be. yeah, it's inner city kids. So we do a few. I'm trying to think. We do a lot of different programs. Good deal. But. Uh, that's a handful right there. When, when is the gala? Where is it and how can someone get to it? June the 26th at Hotel Zaza. Uh, you can go to the website at www.moranorrisfoundation.org. Mm -hmm. That's uh, M-O-R-A-N-N-O-R-R-I-S foundation.org. Or you can call 281-773-7844. Uh, All that information up on your screen right now. Moran Norris, thank you so much for joining All us, right. man. Thanks for having Good me. Deal. All right, Sports on Unfiltered continues next. We're going to talk a little Rockets and Astros with Jim Mudd in the loop on Sports Radio 610. Should be a lot of fun, and honestly, we have no idea what to expect <laughs> when Jim comes in the house. Stay put. Don't go anywhere. The Sports Zone Unfiltered will continue after the break.